Hey everybody, back again, this time with another Shelby. It's a 1967 GT500, factory Wimbledon white, mag stars, beautiful car. It's got the painted blue stripes. This is somewhat of an early car. It's car number 337. Car is in excellent condition. It's got great gaps. Really straight body. Car has really nice paint. Does have some aftermarket exhaust tips. Does have the ducts for the uh, cooling vents for the rear brakes. It's hard to get a good reflection on white, but the car's really nice, paint's really nice. The Magstar's in the Goodyear tires really set this car off. So, this car. <clears throat> Is still a uh, you know factory looking engine bay. It's got the Cobra Le Mans valve covers, Cobra air cleaner, two four intake with the Holly carbs. It's got its original radiator, San Jose radiator, power steering, power disc brakes, original Shelby tag. So this car has. Uh, a couple upgrades. It's actually the engine in this is a 427 FE cross bolt mains Really stout It does have headers And to help keep it cool You can see down in there It's got a super Cobra jet drag pack oil cooler Same thing you'd find on a drag pack 428 or a boss 9 Got the auto light battery. It's a, not a uh, not just a topper. The Shelby number is stamped there where it should be. Has Ford Vins. Has the early steel frame hood. Go to the interior. Full deluxe interior as all 67 Shelby's had. Deluxe seats. Seat backs are in really good condition. A lot of them you see are busted. Original seat belts with the date codes. Original shoulder harnesses, roll bar, seat does fold down. Beautiful wood Shelby steering wheel. 140 mile per hour speedometer, 8K TAC with the red line. Original radio, original gauges. The car is a factory automatic. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh man, but I'll tell you, it runs great. And with the prices of four speeds these days, which I still love four speed as well, headliner's in great shape. Let me find the keys are in my pocket. Dash pad's in great shape. Interior's really nice. Let 
go ahead and pop the trunk while we're back here. Really clean trunk area. It's got a full size spare. Those things don't really fit well in here with the tail lights, but you do get a full size spare. Nice crisp body lines here with the date codes. It's got original quarter panels. There's original sound deadener on both sides. It's not been spliced or skinned or anything like that. Nice clean trunk. Trunk shuts really good. We'll open this side interior. Nice clean door jams, original quarters. Dash pad's actually really nice. Door shuts great. Check that gap out. I mean, quarters are straight. This is a really nice car. Um, I would call this a very nice upper level driver. It's not a concourse car by any means, but it's it's really, really nice. Start it up, listen to that 427. Get the right key here. Let's see if it'll start without pumping it.
67 GT500 with the 427. Tack's working nice. Steering works really nice. Power steering. Drive it with one hand. Shifts really nice.